all right let's look at this question we'll uh, first look at option e ec is amazon inspector so if you look at the question question is looking for projected monthly savings which is somewhat related to finance or cost but we know amazon inspector is a security assessment service and cannot be used for cost optimization recommendation what's required by the question so we'll reject this let's move to option b b says employee aws systems manager reports to identify ebs volume optimization opportunities just remember the trick can simplify solution architect associate exam just like cloud practitioner just by focusing on um, like the blue mark so it will simplify and make the exam a lot easier and save you much time so uh, i'll apply such techniques which will be easy for you so systems uh, manager is used for operational data and automation and uh, again it's uh, not for ebs uh, volume cost optimization what the question is looking for here right so we'll reject this let's move to option c c c is uh, amazon cloud watch so cloud watch matrix provides monitoring and logging but again um, cloud watch is not related to uh, cost optimization recommendation we'll reject this we are left out with option d that is uh, use aws compute optimizes optimizer provide ebs volume optimization recommendation so we know aws uh, compute optimizer provides recommendations for ebs volumes including estimated monthly savings opportunities that being said option d is the right answer all right now let's look at this question so we have tackled similar question like where the data shouldn't be traversing over the public internet so that's what is the requirement of this question so we'll first look at option a it says set up a gateway vpc endpoint so we know gateway vpc endpoint allows secure communication between the vpc and amazon s3 without using public internet so that is what the question is also looking for so let's park this we will we'll now move to option b b says implement an internal network load balancer an internal network load balancer cannot target an ec3 uh, cannot target an s3 bucket right so therefore incorrect let's move to option c c says place the s3 bucket within the vpc so s3 bucket cannot be deployed inside or within the vpc so this is incorrect statement we'll eliminate this now let's move to option d d says stabilize an aws direct connect we know direct connect is used for dedicated network connections not for securing s3 access within the vpc so incorrect we'll lock option e as the right answer okay so let's minimize some operational overhead because we know operational excellence is one of the pillars right so we got to use to it and we got to perfect uh, the skill we'll look at option e ac is develop an aws lambda function to take an rds snapshot daily so writing an aws lambda function to create an rds snapshot every day adds unnecessary operational over it which we definitely don't want as per the question let's reject this we'll move to option b b says adjust the rds database settings to retain automated backups for 30 days so modifying the rds database to have a um, 30 days retention period for automated backups meets the requirement with the least operational overhead let's park this option aside we'll move to option c c says utilize aws systems manager maintenance window to set the rds backup retention period so using aws systems manager maintenance uh, windows to modify the rds backup retention is more complex than directly modifying the rds settings so we will eliminate this we'll move to option d d says manually create a snapshot every day using the aws cli and adjust the rds backup retention period so again um, manually doing anything in the cloud is definitely um, not recommended right because uh, um, it may be prone to error as well uh, someday we might miss as well because of manual um, creating snapshot right we don't want because it will add operational overhead anyway uh, we'll reject this we'll lock option b as the right answer all right now let's look at this question we'll first look at option a e says set up the ec2 instance within a cluster placement group cluster placement group provides low latency network performance and network uh, and high network throughput which which the question is also looking for 
so which is ideal for hpc that is high performance compute workloads um as well looks good we'll park this let's um uh, move to option b b says deploy the ec2 instance with dedicated instance tenancy dedicated instance tenancy ensures instances are physically isolated at the hardware level but it does not specifically add this low latency network performance what the question is looking for here so incorrect let's move to option c c says use spot instances for the ec2 instances spot instances are cost effective but um, spot instances does not guarantee low latency network performance and high network throughput which is the basic or the primary requirement of the question so therefore we don't um, need spot instance for now let's move to option d this is arrange on on demand capacity reservation when launching the ec2 instances so on demand capacity reservations ensures capacity availability but do not add as the specific uh, network performance requirement we'll reject this the lock option a is the right answer all right this looks to be a brainstorming um, question and a real life um, scenario as well where auditor has come in for a few days and required temporary kind of access for a specific number of period let's uh, seven days and the data is in s3 how do we handle such scenario in real life let's tackle this we'll first look at option a so if we look at option a hosting a public static website and migrating uh, data adds unnecessary complexity and operational overhead but as per the question we require the most operational efficiency right so this is uh, not the most operational way of doing things right let's reject this we'll move to option b b says enable public access this is a statement is um, the um worrying because um, um company sensitive data if we make uh, this is public for n number of days or any number of days doesn't matter but we shouldn't make public right so uh, um like companies or the project data is very crucial we shouldn't uh, at any cost make public make it publicly accessible because it will pose security risk and uh, is not operationally efficient again let's check this we'll move to option c c says create a new iam user with access to report to the report in the sv provide the access keys to the external auditor revoke the access after 7 days so creating I, a new iam user and managing access keys involves more operational overhead compared to using pre signed url which is option d option d is currently better let's for now reject option c and let me give you the justification why d is better so pre signed url provides temporary access to specific object in s3 bucket as per the question if you look the data is in s3 bucket which is a perfect fit for using pre signed url right because that's what we need for the external auditor who has uh, Uh, come to do the audit for seven days. We can grant the uh, use pre-signed URL uh, to a specific object in the S3 bucket, which will ensure operational efficiency as well as security, which is the primary concern of any companies because we cannot compromise on security uh, uh, even if the external auditor has uh, come in to check what's there, right? So D looks good, and if you look at the official documentation, it's mentioned a pre-signed URL uses security. credentials to grant time limited just note this uh, keyword time limited permission to download objects so just remember quick tip from my end is um, whenever you see s3 is mentioned and uh, there is a time limited 7 days 10 days something time right uh, where we want to grant object s3 objects for a limited period of time any kind of time so better or the best uh, use case is to use pre signed url Looks good. We'll lock option D as the right answer. All right, this seems interesting because um, it's all about threat protection, and um, the interesting part is that the company has already integrated AWS WAF, right? So this is the next level. Uh, we know, like, whenever there is like SQL injection or cross-site scripting, we use AWS WAF. But here uh, in this question, the company already has it. So what more we need to do? for enhancing the threat protection this we need to look after so what's that if we look at option uh, b c and d b uses aws firewall manager c uses amazon inspector and d uses amazon mesi all these three 
cannot help in threat detection or threat protection as required by the equation hence these three are out now we are left out with only one option uh, which uses um, somewhat um, guard duty if you look at the official documentation for guard duty it's mentioned amazon guard duty is a threat detection service that continuously monitors for malicious activity and unauthorized behaviors across your aws environment so the key point for guard duty is threat detection service right so this is we should um, focus for guard duty that it is meant for threat detection and kind of threat protection so we will lock option a as the correct answer okay let's look at this question so uh, it's about identifying and enforce enforcing policies on resources which pose a security risk so let's first focus on option a and d option a uses amazon rds d uses amazon dynamo db so if we uh, look at option a amazon rds is a relational database and dynamo db is a no sql database so both these services cannot handle complex relationships and queries required for the it infrastructure map as per the question if we uh, look here right we will reject this for this uh, kind of scenario we need some somewhat uh, graph database right uh, so i've given you the hint you might be already knowing the answer now don't just pass your id certification instead pass with flying colors with my keyword tricks included in the pdf become a member now by clicking the join button to unlock all member only videos including the pdf and the keyword tricks which comes along with it then please connect and inbox me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit or instagram at the rate of amit physique i'll be glad to help you out with the pdf access let's look at option b b says utilize amazon neptune to store the data and use spark kill queries to identify security vulnerabilities so neptune we know is a gram database service that allows for efficient querying of complex relationship using par ql making it ideal for mapping uh, it infrastructure and identifying uh, security risk what's mentioned here in the question so we'll park option b for now let's move to option c c says store the data in amazon redshift and use sql queries to identify security vulnerabilities so redshift we know is a data warehousing uh, service optimized for analytical queries redshift cannot be used for mapping and um, querying complex relationships what's required by the question so option c is out we'll lock option b as the right answer all right all right now let's look at this question we'll uh, look at option a option a says use third party backup software so using third party backup software with um, aws storage gateway adds unnecessary complexity and does not leverage aws native option as per the question we need to leverage native solution right aws native solution third party uh, backup software cannot help with it let's reject this let's now move to option b b says utilize aws backup to configure and monitor all aws backup for service and use looks good because uh, aws um, backup provides uh, first of all the centralized backup uh, management and uh, automation for various aws services including like ec2 rds dynamo db uh, which is what uh, the question is also looking for here right and secondly we uh, aws backup is a aws native service or solution as well so this looks good as per the question we'll park this now let's focus on option c and d together c uses aws config d uses aws systems manager state manager so these two options uh, aws config and aws systems manager state manager are used for configuration management and not for centralized backup management as required by the question here if you look so c and d are out let's look at the official documentation if you look here it's mentioned to configure aws backup to centrally just note the word centrally manage data protection for all your uh, supported services you must opt in to manage that service with aws backup so here's a um, quick uh, guide for it if you're new to it you can have a read out how what's aws backup is used for so for more information we'll lock option b as the right answer all right now so let's look at uh, some security related uh, question and database as well because we need to protect our database with some password rotation 
so which is um quite a like common scenario in uh, most it companies like we rotate the passwords to secure the database so that um, the malicious uh, users don't get access to or guess by brute force uh, the passwords right so let's uh, tackle this i uh, will look at option a AC is aws secrets manager so um, aws secrets manager provides built-in support for automatic password uh, i mean password rotation minimizing operational overhead looks good because we need to minimize operational overhead as well let's now move to option b b uses aws systems manager parameter store so aws systems manager parameter store doesn't support automatic rotation for database password if we read here password rotation for these databases and what are the databases amazon rds for postgresql database uh, which um, unfortunately parameter store doesn't um, support we'll have to reject this now let's move to option c c c is aws lambda function to rotate the password so we know uh, using lambda uh, we need to write the code uh, and um, like writing in aws lambda function to rotate passwords also will add um, operational overhead somewhat which is unnecessary we don't want this let's reject this now let's move to option d d if we look here focus on the just the blue like um, these part of the sentence it says enable automatic rotation for the aws kms key so kms key is used for key management and encryption and um, we cannot use kms for um, automatic key rotation uh, i mean automatic password rotation uh, which the question is looking for for the database so d is out we lock up we lock option e as the correct answer now this is a tricky question and when i say it is a tricky question i mean it's a tricky question so let's first look at option a you'll find it out why it's tricky we'll look at option a ac is use amazon elastic file system efs amazon efs is uh, designed for linux based workloads and does not support smb file shares as required by the question here so we can easily eliminate the first option now let's move to option c c says utilize aws snowball for data transfer now it's again easy to eliminate because snowball cannot satisfy the requirement of low latency file transfer connection which is required by the question here so we have to reject option c as well now here lies the important part which i mentioned it's tricky um it's an intelligent question if you are able to get this right you are uh, probably um ready i mean more than ready for the aws solution architect exam because it's uh, quite a tricky question most people uh, might not be getting the correct answer in the first place so um you, you can make a guess which one will be so between option b and d we got to choose a better answer if we look at option b amazon fsx for windows file server is suitable for windows based file shares which is good but the problem is fsx for windows file server does not provide the same seamless integration to copy files to aws as storage gateway because we need to migrate the application to aws right as per the question so that being said option b is out we are left out with option d and let me justify you why i have selected option d that is deploy aws storage gateway so aws storage gateway provides a seamless and secure integration between on premises environment and aws allowing the application to copy files to aws without requiring code modification uh, which is uh, also the requirement of the question if we uh, look here and uh, team doesn't have the bandwidth to make necessary code modification right so that's what is um, required as well we got to read the question carefully so as to arrive at the correct answer we'll lock option d as the right answer if you want the pdf version of this course including the key, uh, keyword tricks on your fingertips please enroll in diamond membership or above by clicking the join button now uh, to unlock this book then please connect and inbox me on linkedin at the rate of cloud guru amit and instagram at the rate of amit physik uh, please inbox me and do let me know if you have uh, enrolled i'll be happy to help you out with the pdf access so all the best for your uh, 2025 aws solution architect associate exam